Great, so let's begin. And so this is the second last lecture. And uh, so next Thursday, uh, we have a holiday. So there will be uh, no lecture. And then next week, Tuesday, you will have your second midterm. And we will, uh, will follow the same uh, pattern which we did for midterm first. And it will start at 4.30. And you will have time until 4.45 to submit it uh, via web courses, OK? And the uh, the exam, the paper format will be exactly the same uh, which you have seen in your uh, first midterm, OK? And regarding the syllabus, uh, so I, if I remember correctly, I think we covered until uh, image classification for your midterm first. And after that, I think we covered object detection. So start starting right from object detection until uh, what we are going to cover today uh, that's action recognition so all of those lectures will be covered in this midterm all right so and uh, there will be no more homework so we are done with all the 10 homeworks and uh, again a, a, a gentle reminder for the spi student perception of instruction and i think some some uh, some of you have already done that uh, for those who have not uh, finished this. So you only have, I think, 11 questions. Nine of them will be multiple choice. Two will be open comments. And uh, I will encourage you to like uh, do this uh, as soon uh, as you get time, okay? So now there are some questions from, uh, so one question from Miles, will you release a practice midterm again? No, so th this, uh, this time we are not going to release any practice midterm because the idea there was like to give you an idea like what kind of questions you're going to see. And as I said, like we are going to follow the same pattern which we followed in midterm first. So questions will be almost similar. It's just like you will have a different syllabus, okay? Uh, another question from uh, William, will there also be a final exam after midterm second? And no, so this will be your uh, last uh, written exam. And programming assignments, you have already done like all three. So there's not going to be any final exam, but on the uh, final exam day, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go through your presentations uh, about your course projects, okay? So those presentations will be, uh, I think two to three minutes each and you will have uh, that much time to like talk about what you did. And then uh, we'll have some questions as well. So that we will cover on the final day. I think it's scheduled for our uh, 10th of December. I mean, you can confirm that from the UCF website. And I think uh, it was 10th. So I, I will release the date later. So, Question from Tushar, when will be the project? Yeah, so again, the project pre presentation will be uh, on the final exam day, all right? So I hope that answered your questions. Uh, another question from Sunil, at 4.30 question will be released and till 4.45 we'll have time to submit. Yeah, it will be the same pattern, you're right. Okay. Now, uh, a few points I wanted to cover is, uh, so I checked recently, a couple of students have not submitted their uh, project proposal yet. And so just to remind you, this course project, I think is around 30% of your total grades. And we don't want any surprises like in terms of the project, what you're doing. And that's why we discussed them beforehand before you made these submissions. So I'm hoping that those students are like working in groups with other team members and they might have submitted it. But just to ensure that if, if you have not submitted, please do so as soon as possible. I think there were two or three students who have not submitted this. I don't want to like uh, name them here, but you know if you haven't submitted that, okay? Now another, uh, I think, point I would like to cover is, I think there was a question from uh, one of the student and the concern was, what if we are collaborating on like the same thing? 
and I think it was a nice example. She said that, what if we're trying to optimize our network architecture and we are doing that in parallel and that's perfectly fine. So if you are working in collaboration, what you should do is, as you know that in your report, which you will submit, there will be an extra section like the last section for uh, those submissions uh, where you're working in teams for individual projects, you don't have to worry about it. But if you're working uh, in team, then that section should talk about what exactly you contributed. All right, so it could be like writing the report, it could be evaluation, it could be, it could be anything. So whatever you did in whatever way you contributed, just state that in uh, that section. And if you have collaborated on something with another student, you should specifically like, uh, I think explicitly mention that, that this thing, uh, this and this uh, student actually work together. And then uh, the same student should also be present in the other student report. So we'll do a tally. And if you find any discrepancy, then we'll have to contact you for that. Okay, so any question uh, in this regard? Yeah, yes, uh, I do have a question uh, about the, the, the project. Uh, we, we did a proposal, but can we uh, keep in the same uh, subject, but changing slightly the technique should be fine, right? Like if you decide to go forward with another technique for the same subject. Yeah, yeah, that, that's perfectly fine. Cool. Thank you. So as long as you're not changing your problem description and what you promised in that uh, proposal, uh, uh, it's fine. You can change your solution. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so a question from uh, Bene. So I'm working in a group and I submitted earlier, but before that our group contacted you and you approved that. Submitted earlier, but before that. So yeah, Binay, I'm confused. It's, it's not clear what you're trying to say. So you're working in group, that's fine. And you have also submitted the proposal. So your only concern is that you submitted before uh, talking to me. Am I, am I correct? Or is there anything else? Yeah, after that, and that's, that's fine. Don't worry about it. That's fine. I mean, that proposal submission won't be graded. It was just to ensure that you are working on some project. Okay. 